Companion planting may play a role in prevention of disease. And while this is still an area of ongoing research, there are many evidence-based strategies you can put into practice. Growing shorter plants like thyme, oregano, basil, and certain clovers among taller crops can provide cover over soil so that water from the rain or overhead watering with a hose or sprinkler doesn't hit the ground with full force and cause a splash up from the soil where diseases may be lying in wait. That splash up can take diseases up to the leaves where they can flourish and multiply. Companion planting plants like hairy vetch can actually reduce foliar diseases in addition to providing plants with nitrogen since vetch is a legume. To put this into practice, sow hairy vetch seeds in the fall in the same place you want to plant your tomatoes in the spring. You'll want to sow the vetch at least four to six weeks prior to your first frost date since hairy vetch can be killed in a cold winter climate. In milder winter climates, you can let hairy vetch grow throughout the winter and then cut it down in the spring before it sets seed. In either climate type, you should leave the plants to lie right there on the ground after they're cut down or killed, and then plant your tomatoes right through them. This method was tested by the USDA and performed so well that many researchers and farmers are expanding it to other types of crops. So while we can't do everything to prevent every disease, there are several steps we can take to minimize them.